What are retainers? How do I clean them? How long do I have to wear them for? What's the difference between a wired and a clear retainer? What do they look like? What's a fixed angle retainer? What happens if I lose it? Can I talk with them in? How do I take care of them? All that and more on today's episode of Brace Explain. Let's go. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Braces Explained. I'm Dr. Greg and I am here today to talk to you about a question that a lot of you guys have been asking me and this is one of the most requested videos I've had today and that is how to care for your retainers, what are they, what's the difference between the clear ones, the fixed ones, the wired ones, so we're going to talk about all that and more in today's episode. So first of all, what are retainers and why do you need them? Retainers are used after your treatment is completed to hold your teeth where they were once your teeth were aligned. Now, as you guys remember from my previous videos, your teeth are constantly moving when you're in braces. And once they're put into a final position, you want to allow the bone to remodel and sturdy up around those newly moved teeth. So it's super critical right when you get your braces off to wear your retainer around the clock. You have to wear the retainer and that's because your teeth are the most likely to relapse right when you get your braces off. If you see, your teeth are pretty wiggly right when you get them off because the bone around each tooth hasn't firmed up and that means that the elastic fibers around each tooth are more likely to pull it back to where it originally came from during those initial couple of months. Every orthodontist has a different type of retainer protocol. Some will ask you to wear them at nights or 24 seven for different amounts of time. But most of them in the beginning, six months or so, we'll ask for 24 seven wear because like I said, it's most likely to relapse during that period of time. A lot of people ask, how long do I have to wear these retainers for? And the real answer to that is as long as you want your teeth to remain straight. I know it sounds like a long time to say that you have to wear it for the rest of your life, but that's kind of what it is. Your cheeks and your tongue are constantly putting forces on your teeth. And if you don't wear a retainer, what's gonna happen is either you're gonna have spacing develop or crowding develop. So as long as you wanna keep your teeth straight and in the position that you had them in when the braces were removed, you have to keep wearing the retainer at least every night. If you start noticing that when you put the retainers in at night, it feels tight, I'd recommend increasing the wear to a little bit more than just at nighttime wear until your teeth can restabilize in the position they were when you had the braces removed. And at that point, you can return back to at night wear only. So that brings us to our next topic. What's the difference between these different types of retainers? Well, you have a bunch of different types. You have wired retainers, which come in a bunch of different varieties. They have ones that wrap around all the teeth and ones that wrap around only certain teeth. And this is up to your orthodontist on which he thinks is the most appropriate type of retainer to hold your teeth where they are now that your treatment is completed. There's the clear retainers, which are kind of like trays and they're not visible except for like a little bit of a shiny look to them when they're on your teeth. And the third type of retainer is that you can have a retainer which is called a fixed lingual retainer. And what these are is they're fixed, which means that they're not able to be removed and they're lingual on the tongue side of your teeth. And these hold a couple of teeth together, but you have to be super awesome about your hygiene when you're using these and I'll show you why. So again, Accutech Laboratories, which have helped me out in previous videos, were incredibly generous and they sent me a bunch of retainers so I can show you guys. So the first type of retainer I wanna go over with you guys are the ones that are wired, or what we generally call as Holly retainers. These are great retainers because they do cover the cheek side and the tongue side of your teeth, but they don't hold in the vertical dimension, so up and down. So right when you get your braces off, sometimes you see that not all your teeth are touching perfectly. And what this allows for is that the teeth can erupt down and sock into one another so that they can have a really good bite. And Holly retainers do a really good job at guiding you know, the cheek side and the palate side, but allow your teeth to extrude out into a place where you'll have a very stable bite. So the first type of retainer I wanna show you guys are these wired Holly retainers. And like I said earlier, they can come in two different formats. They can come in a wrap around, which wraps around all the teeth. And there are some that wrap around only certain teeth. And they can come with different types of patterns and acrylic designs. And these can be ordered by your orthodontist from the laboratories. Like I said before, your orthodontist, depending on what kind of a malocclusion or crooked teeth you had before you got started with treatment, they will recommend either one type or the other. Yours might look something similar to these or a little bit different, but generally there's a wire that runs across the front teeth with these little loops that can be used to adjust the retainer to make it either tighter or looser or achieve some minor adjustment. The next type of retainer I wanna to talk to you guys about are clear retainers, kind of like Invisalign trays. 
The clear type of retainers look just like this, and this is actually a patient of mine with a 3D printed model. And what this is, is a clear tray that can sit on top of the teeth, and it just pops right in like this, and it holds onto your teeth. Out of all the retainers, the clear ones are definitely one of the easiest ones to get lost, simply because, well, they're clear, and they're hard to see if you put them anywhere other than your case. These have a little bit shorter of a lifetime than the Holly retainers because you can imagine these are just plastic compared to the acrylic that's in the Holly retainers. So these have to be replaced more frequently. They're a bit more flimsy and you can see that if you were to put too much force on them, they might break. Also, these clear aligner retainers don't allow for that vertical settling we were talking about in the Holly retainers. So that's one possible drawback of using a clear retainer. The next type of retainer I wanna to talk to you guys about is a fixed lingual retainer. These are pretty tough to clean as you can imagine because floss doesn't go down through it because the wire is preventing it. This is an example of a fixed lingual retainer. What you can see is that there's a wire that runs along the tongue side of the teeth and it is held in there with little dots of cement on each tooth. Like I said earlier, this is a really tough type of retainer to clean. What you have to do is thread the floss between these contact points to make sure that you're cleaning the gum margin and under this wire. If you were to try to floss this with regular floss, what you would do is you would get stuck right on this wire and you wouldn't be able to clean the area under the wire and above the gums. So to clean around these, you have to use something like super floss or threader like I showed you in my video about flossing to get around the wire and go under the gums and clean them really well. So these are a little bit tough if you have poor hygiene. They generally go only on your lower teeth because as you can imagine, if you put them on your top teeth, you would, when you bite down, your upper teeth get overlapped by your lower teeth and sometimes you can bite off the retainer. But if you have a gap between your front teeth that has a tendency to keep opening up, these fixed lingual retainers can be used to hold that gap shut. Sometimes with these fixed lingual retainers, we'll make a clear liner that goes over it so that it backs up the retainer in the front and it holds the back teeth so that they don't relapse either. So to clean these retainers, the Hollies and the clear aligners, what I usually recommend is that you use a toothbrush, but don't use toothpaste because that's pretty abrasive, and brush it under cold water so that you don't distort the material. If you do this every time you take them out and before you put them back in, you'll make sure that there's no plaque that builds up on the retainers so that it lasts longer, looks less stained, and doesn't smell. Whenever you notice some plaque or calculus developing on these retainers, you can use polydent or any type of denture cleaning material and you can put this in a cup of warm water, not hot, but warm water, and dissolve a tablet of polydent and leave your retainers in there like the instructions say on the box, generally for about 15 minutes. And this will help dissolve any of that buildup or plaque that's accumulated on your retainer over time. If you notice that your retainers don't fit, give your orthodontist a call right away because this would mean that your teeth are moving and the retainer isn't holding onto your teeth properly. If this happens, one of two things will occur. One, they can make you a retainer that can hold your teeth at the position it is now. Or two, they might have to do some more active orthodontic treatment in order to realign the teeth in an ideal position. If you lose your retainer, give your orthodontist a call right away so that they can get you in and make you a new retainer before your teeth shift. Remember, teeth constantly are shifting and you wanna hold them in their ideal position. So if you lose the retainer, please give them a call right away so you can get in and get a new retainer as soon as possible. So if you just get your retainers, you'll realize right when you pop them in, your speech is a little bit funky. And that's because it's something new in your mouth. Like when you got your braces, it's something that's foreign and uncomfortable, but the more you wear these retainers, the more you'll realize that you're able to talk just fine. Generally, I tell patients that by the end of the day or the next day, their speech is totally fine and no one will even know that it's in actually it'll feel a little bit weird when you take it out. The number one way these retainers get lost is that when you take them out of your mouth, please, please, please put them in the case. I had an instructor back in dental school that said, if it isn't in your face, it should be in the case. And that is super true because the second you take them out, a lot of people have the tendency to put them on a napkin. And when you put these things in a napkin, when you're cleaning up your food, they get a tendency to be thrown away. And they're not the cheapest things to replace. So please put them in the case that the orthodontist provided you when you got your braces taken off and your retainers delivered. If you are the type that is less likely to wear a certain type of retainer over the other, please let your orthodontist know because the most important thing is that you are using some type of retainer. They will let you know if the retainer you want, let's say you want a clear one or a holly, won't be appropriate for you, but they won't know if you don't tell them. So please let them know what your preference is and they'll educate you on whether this is the appropriate retainer for you or why it isn't. The big thing that I hope you guys get away from all my videos is that you should always have an open line of communication with your orthodontist so that they know what you're thinking about 
and you know why they are recommending certain treatments. If you guys have any questions about retainers that I did not cover in this video, please leave them in the comments below. If it's a commonly asked question, I can go ahead and make a video that will explain more about retainers. But I hope this gives you an outline on what the difference is between the clear retainers, the wired retainers, and the fixed lingual retainers. As always, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all my content on this channel. Hope you guys have an awesome week and I will see you guys next time on Braces Explained. For now, Dr. Greg, 